Yes, Apple Intelligence is finally available worldwide. As of today, with the release of iOS 18.4, which is still on the very first beta, but you can run it on your iPhone if you want to, you'll be able to use Apple Intelligence in pretty much every country around the world, including the European Union, China, right here in South America, you'll be able to run it pretty much anywhere you want in most of the languages, including French, Spanish, German, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Portuguese, and many, many other languages pretty much anywhere around the world. Apple Intelligence is finally worldwide available. Let's talk about that. Let me show you in action on my iPhone. I'm super excited about this video. Okay, so if I open up my settings, you'll see that I'm running iOS 18.4 right here on my iPhone. And if you want to run it today, you'll be able to do that completely free. I'm gonna talk about that later on this video. So let's come back here, come back once again. And if we scroll down and go to Apple Intelligence and Siri, you'll be able to see that right now under language, you have a ton of possibilities. So take a look at this. So Chinese, a lot of options, Dutch, English, pretty much anywhere around the world, Finnish, French, German, and as you can see here, in multiple different countries as well, respecting their variations, we have here Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, take a look at this. So it's amazing, so Apple Intelligence is in fact available all around the world. Let me put my iPhone in Portuguese and I'm gonna show you that it actually does work. So as you can see, my phone is in Portuguese region, Brazil. And if I come back here, come back once again and go to Apple Intelligence, the language of my Apple Intelligence is also Portuguese. If I go ahead and press and hold my side button, you'll still see the old logo for a while. And that's because Apple Intelligence is being downloaded on this language. So for the very first time that you do this for your region, your language, this will happen. And a very nice way to check this out is by opening up the Image Playground app. So if you see that that's still loading, it means Apple Intelligence is still loading. So you have to wait a second. And so after a couple of minutes, everything will be ready and you'll be able to use Apple Intelligence in your native language and your region. Of course, not only talk to Siri, but also of course, the writing tools and everything like that in your language, everything working perfectly, including integration with ChatGPT, everything will work absolutely perfectly. But of course, this is still beta one, so we'll see some hiccups here and there, some bugs here and there, but as a whole, you get Apple Intelligence finally available to you. And last but not least, of course, I didn't forget, if you wanna run iOS 18.4 on your iPhone right now, so if you wanna run the beta, I'll have a direct link right here, link in the description as well, you can go ahead and run iOS 18.4 beta one right now for free, legit and official. Keep in mind, it's a beta, you'll have bugs, but if you wanna go through that in order to have early access to Apple Intelligence, you can. So you can go ahead and check it out. So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.